How do I make the resistance higher? Oh, down there. Oh, Hi friends. Um, Wait, I'm not ready. <laughs> well, that's fine. You'll be ready in a sec. We are doing something a little bit different today. We are. This is the last time we're gonna see each other. Probably. Yeah. Till end of May, beginning in, of June. Yeah, we're both heading away for work. I'm heading away for five weeks to Newfoundland. Sylvia's going to go off to work on the ferries, and we want to address some of the questions and. Just say thank you as well for all the support this past week since we announced on YouTube that we're doing the race to Alaska. Um, it's been really awesome to have people cheering for us, but we've also had a lot <laughs> of questions and people questions. wondering just like why are we kind of insane to do this suffer fest. So we're both going to do like five, ten minutes of rowing working on our technique. We've got lots of people giving us advice. Which we need because we're not rowers. No. We <laughs> just like, I avoid the rowing machine as much as I can at the gym until now. That's like just been focusing on it and maybe we need help. We do need help. So feel free to give us rowing suggestions. We're going to work on it today. I'm going to answer some questions. Uh, let's do this. Okay. <laughs> So, I'm going to ask you questions while you What? Okay, I guess one of one thing that we someone wanted to know, I forget who. Oh, one of one of our donation um, friends. Someone gave us some donations to help us out with um, our costs once we get to catch a can. We're definitely gonna want a warm bed over our a warm bed, warm bed, and a roof over bed. Just yeah. a bed. Yeah. <laughs> um, so thank you so much for those who donated. Um, I guess what's your motivation for doing this race? Why do you want to do it? Well, I kind of enjoy things that are supper festy type two fun activities, and it's kind of more of like a mental challenge to be able to finish something that's both mentally and physically tough. So that's um, a big motivation. And just to slow down and see the route that I do for work all the time. Um, and just get to see it at a slower pace and, and spend time with my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess that brings us to um, a little bit more about you. Cause obviously if you followed my YouTube channel for a while, you probably know a bit about me, um, but Sylvia is pretty new to the channel. She pops in once in a while, but we've actually been friends since kindergarten and best and friends shortly after. Um, Did I give you a hug or something? Yeah, something <laughs> so feels <it was> weird. <laughs> um, but tell people a little bit about yourself, your your background, what you do for work. Uh, yeah, so. Right now I work for BC Ferries um, out of Prince Rupert, so pretty close to Ketchikan. I'm going to get out of breath while I want. <laughs> Do you want me to lower the resistance? <laughs> um, yeah, so I am deckhand. I have my bridge watch quartermaster on that route. Um, we go from Prince Rupert to Port Hardy and then over to Haida Gwaii. Um, so I do that two weeks on, two weeks off. And on my two weeks off, I ski patrol at our local mountain, Mount Washington. Um, so I've been doing that for a few years. Before that, I worked um, at a grizzly bear lodge. Um, being a grizzly bear guide, a whale watching guide, uh, for about four seasons. And I ski patrol during that time as well. Um, what else to add? Oh. <laughs> kind of a fun fact, I did my internship while in school at Rowing Canada without ever being in a rowing <laughs> in a boat before. <laughs> so I spent the whole time working in the office, but it's kind of a fun fact. <laughs> um, we have made Sylvia the chief safety officer on yep. board Orca, and um, we have had actually a couple emails from people and comments uh, wondering what kind of safety precautions we are taking. 
Um, so we'll both touch on that. But Sylvia, do you want to start? Uh, so I've been putting together a first aid kit that we'll have on the boat, um, just with anything necessary. I mean, we don't really know what will happen, but just kind of get all the basics covered. Um, we're going to be tethered in at all times as well. We have harnesses. Um, so yeah, anytime, even in the calmest days, we'll always be tethered in. Yeah, we've got um, someone asked about crotch straps. Um, I don't tend to wear them, but for this race, I definitely am adding crotch straps to our life jackets. Yeah. Um, we're, it's a small boat. We're very close to the water. Um, Especially when we're rowing. Yeah. We might be in the water. Yeah. <laughs> We've got, Kelly Hansen is giving us some dry suits, which is amazing because both for safety, if, if we do fall in, we'll be dry, which is huge in these waters. Hyperthermia is a big thing. Um, we also are adding these flotation bags to the bow um, in case the boat does sink, the bow will stay floating. It's getting really windy. Uh, um, yeah, and then the other main thing that we are thinking of is communications. Yes. So we have an inReach on board, which we can text with and, or send an SOS. And then we've got our VHF that um, will be able to communicate with the larger vessels. And uh, an e And an e -perb as well, yeah. So those are our main safety things. Um, We've also tried to keep the boat really simple, so... Less that's, to break. Yeah, less to break, for sure. Okay, do you want to switch? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Seven minutes. Seven minutes. How far did I go? I don't know. Only 700-something more to go. Yeah. Okay, give me my shoes back. I hope they can hear one with the wind and above this noisy rowing machine. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to ask Kayleen some questions. We've had some pretty funny uh, comments in our videos of her taking the boat out rowing for the first time. Um, so what's your speed over ground when you're rowing? Well, we, we tested it on that last video you would have seen when we were testing it. And it, we ended up averaging about 2.2 knots. Um, I was going probably like this speed, which is pretty good for 2.2. If we really want to push it like this, wow. Wow. <laughs> um, I could get up to three knots. Um, and then when we were fighting some current, about a knot of current, um, Oh, it was like half an hour current. I was doing like, yeah, 1.7, 1.8. As long as we're going forward. Yeah, exactly. And as long as like, safety-wise, if you start getting pushed towards the rocks and there's no wind, you just need an option. Yeah. Um, what kind of outboard? And what's your horsepower? <laughs> if I was an outboard, <laughs> these are all coming from the comments on Instagram. We've had some pretty funny and uh, misogynistic <laughs> comments. Um, if I was an outboard, I'd be a Yamaha. <laughs> nice. Probably two horsepower. <laughs> and going to those mis misogynistic questions, if we're rowing, if we're both girls, we're rowing, how do we make dinner when we're doing both? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, there's some funny comments yeah. saying that I should be in the galley. Um, but we will need to make dinner. Yep. Um, believe it or not, we can do both. <laughs> we but got this sweet gimbal set up for our, uh... The jet boil? The jet boil, yeah. yeah. So, we've decided just to go fully dehydrated foods. And... Obviously, Thanks to our parents, <laughs> our, our mom's helping us with that. Yeah, my mom's <laughs> making all the lunches, and her mom is making all, all the snacks. snacks, doing high protein, high calorie. And then Nomad Nutrition for our dinners, and I guess oatmeal for breakfast. So. Yeah. Um, Those fish and chips in Ketchikan are going to taste amazing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's going to be interesting food-wise, but... Um, so 
what's it gonna be like rowing in chalk and swell? Yeah, so this this rowing setup, it was actually used, like I said, in a previous race. Um, so the nice thing, even though we've had lots of people doubting us, <laughs> the nice thing is that it has been tested before. It's been proven. However, they were able to lift theirs up a little bit in the chop. Um, we've decided just to have a secondary rowing setup. So we're adding oars and oar locks, the concept ones, um, to the cockpit. Um, to the Genoa track actually and that's going to be our backup system um, if it's super choppy or swell and it's just too unsafe to be off the stern of the boat. And same question you asked me, why? What's your motivation? Well, I've always had my eye on this race. I'm like Sylvia, I like the challenge, Sufferfest. I like looking back on something like that and be like, hell yeah, I did that. Um, after getting back from Mexico and doing that big trip that I had worked so hard to do, um, I kind of was also having a little bit of a life crisis moment <laughs> where I was like, what am I going to do sailing-wise? Yeah, you're selling your boat. Sold boat loose and... I just feel like I needed one more sailing thing to put my mind to. <laughs> just, but then as soon as we finish this, there'll be something else. <laughs> yeah, I'm a goal-oriented person, and this seemed like a really good goal project. <laughs> but yeah, that's it for questions. Um, lastly, there won't be another video until we end up doing our test run at the end of May. We're going to Squamish, crossing the Strait of Georgia as a good test, coming back, doing probably two nights, yeah. um, and we'll make sure we video that. Then it's time for the race. So if you are interested in following along, we've got a blog going. If you want to help us out with some of the costs, we've got a donation page on the blog as well. And then we also have um, a fun project we're releasing we're actually making some toques, yeah. um, and the proceeds are going to, some of the proceeds anyways, are going to Orca Lab, and some of the proceeds are going to help cover the rest the of the costs for this crazy trip. <laughs> uh, so thanks very much for watching. We'll see you in about a month, um, and we'll try to keep you updated as much as we can. But please send your rowing tips. We'll be rowing still all that time. And yeah. you can roast us. It's fine. We need to learn. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us how bad we are. Yeah. Bye.